Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about basically what is the best deal that you can get on a new mountain bike for under 500. We'll do under 500 as well as under 1,000. So basically the premise is you're getting into mountain biking, you want to get into it cheap because you're not sure if you're going to like it. Maybe you don't have a whole lot of money to spend. So we're going to look and see what we can get for how cheap we can get it. And this seems a little complicated at first, but after looking through everything, I think I've been able to simplify it. So basically, if you want to go under $500 on a full suspension mountain bike with disc brakes, so basically a real mountain bike, not just a bike shape op shaped object, something you can actually ride for under $500, uh, bikesdirect.com is like you're basically your only option. So you can see here they they you click on mountain bikes, they pull up this page here, and you can kind of go down. So they have front suspension with they have this base camp for two hundred dollars as a hardtail. And I'm going to tell you what what bike on here I recommend getting, but we'll look at a few of them. But this base camp here, this one I would not recommend. It doesn't come with disc brakes. It just has these little V-brakes, essentially. And it's not the worst bike. The fork isn't very good on it. It's a little better than anything you're going to get at Walmart, I think, for $200, most likely. But for a little bit more money, you can get... Let's see here. Let's see what this one was. This one, you still have the V-brakes. So this base camp, this would be the $300 hardtail option on this website, which pretty much is a very good, pretty good value. You get disc brakes, you have a reasonable fork made by Gravity, which is probably just an SR Suntour fork or like a Chinese made fork. So this is the most basic option that you can get for 300 bucks to get riding. And I'll show you how we can make it a little bit cheaper here in a minute. Because I actually have this Bikes Direct website also has basically their sister website, Bike Island, which is their scratch and dent, essentially, website, stuff that gets a little bit messed up. So here you can see that base camp again. They have it for 250 They have limited options, though. Like here you can see it's only 14 inches. But I think they might even sell it new. Let's go back here. So you're not always going to be able to find it. But here's you know one they have for 280. You can get it in yellow, so that you can get a little bit cheaper deal than what you find on this bikesdirect.com website by going to Bike Island. So this is kind of our first contender for 300 bucks, hard to beat if you're just trying to get the cheapest option to get you out there. This is a reasonable bike that you can ride on a trail. You'll get you know here's they even have the geometry on here. The biggest disappointment is you're gonna have the 71 degree head tube angle which means you're not going to want to do, you know, you can still do some downhill mountain biking on this, but you're going to be limited by that because the, the more slack this gets, the easier downhill will be for you. And when you're a new mountain biker, you're already going to have a hard time going downhill. So you want to give yourself as much advantage as you can. So that's that. So then they, you go to this full suspension option. Um, they actually have some decent options here. So this... It's 300 bucks, so the same price as that hardtail. But that the big difference is that hardtail was a 29er. This is 26 inch wheels. But I still would rather ride, I think, this than the 29er hardtail. But that's a little bit harder to choose between. But if you go here for $400, $399, you can get this full suspension 29er. Obviously, the suspension isn't that good, but I still think it's better and worth upgrading the $100 than to pay $300 for a hardtail. I think I'd rather pay $400, have this full suspension bike. You can upgrade the shock whenever you want to. I think this is a good idea. Let's see if they have it in stock here. Looks like they have it in stock. This this is kind of my winner of the whole video, I think. For I'll show you the, the other winner here in a second. But for $3.99 on Bike Island, I think they have it on here as well. Here you go. They have the 29er. Same bike. 
they're selling it for 279. That's pretty good. They may, you know, they have satin blue. They have one of the options down here, like doesn't even come with a fork, which they give you another hundred dollars off. So with no fork, you would be 179. And then you can go here to Amazon and you can get one of these forks. These air forks here, you know, 130, 120. On the Seth's Bike Hacks channel, he did review this baloney fork and he liked it on his bike. Here's that same bike here. There's, you know, I think this was the only review I could find on YouTube of this bike. And it does look better here than it even does in their stock photo. It kind of looks weird the way they have the shock here. But here it has a nice, better line here going down. So I like the way I think he did upgrade this shock. He said he paid $55 for that shock to upgrade it. I think you could do even better than that. Put an air shock on there. But that's a very solid option here. And basically the tied for winner of best value mountain bike you can buy online. So if you buy that bike, you, know, you can watch the review here on this. Shout out to PH Fishing and Biking. You can get it even cheaper on Bike Island. You can upgrade the fork, or if you get one without a fork from Bike Island, you can buy one of these. If you ever want to upgrade the brakes for 40 bucks on Amazon, Top Wolf, obviously a Chinese brand, but they make good brakes, they've been reviewed. You can buy a wider handlebar if you want. Then you can buy, there's all kinds of tire options. That kind of rounds out the sub $500 category for mountain biking. I think this is the winner. Obviously, you can go on Craigslist, um, but there's not a ton of great options. There's a bunch of Walmart stuff on here. This was kind of the best one on the St. Louis Craigslist. This $200 hardtail would be, you know, basically any of the name brand bike company, Specialized Giant, Trek. You know, if you could find a hardtail by them with disc brakes, a reasonable fork for $200, you know, that's not a bad way to go either. And it could compete with this, but I still think having the suspension would be fun and a bike that you would enjoy riding. So then the next option, basically, between you know that $400 bike and this $900 Polygon, basically you have just a bunch of hardtails that range from $500 to $900. Let's see, I can kind of show you. Yeah, like this $400 Fuji hardtail. They have several $400 options. Then it kind of jumps up to 650, 650. Basically, these just have nicer drivetrains, nicer brakes, nicer forks. And you're not getting a ton of value here. Maybe a little bit better geometry. But compared to you know, this full suspension bike that you can upgrade yourself, I think you're getting very similar value there. But then these Polygon bikes on uh, Bikes Online represent a really good value. So for 899, this is basically the cheapest bike then a very good value here um the only problem with this one is the susp suspension you get a you know basically the very similar fork to what you're getting with that motor bocane or gravity bike on bikesdirect.com you do get an air shock in the back but still no dropper post you do get a dramatically better frame compared to that bike but for 899 for only a hundred dollars more you get a dramatically better bike Let's see if I can change it to so this Polygon D6 here. It's basically my other winner. I would tie with that $400 bikesdirect.com bike. Because for a thousand bucks, you're getting a full suspension bike, air fork. This is SR Suntour air fork and shock. You get a dropper seat post, one by drivetrain, a nice, you know, modern geometry. This is a 67 degree head tube angle, so you can do lots of very versatile bike. So this is a very good deal. They kind of compare them down here, the different polygons. I think this one was on sale maybe, let's see. This one, basically similar to the other two, a little bit more expensive, or a lot more expensive. Let's see, there was like, I think an $1,100 one that was real similar, but you got like RockShox suspension. So I'd look at all these polygon ones that would be the next, if you're willing to spend around a grand, you're getting a dramatically better bike than the $400 Gravity 
bike here that is still a good option, but again, you, you get what you pay for. So for $600 more, you can get a dramatically better bike. In between there, you can look around, and you can compare these, use these two bikes as your benchmark as to what you can get and see if there's anything better. But I still think you'd have a lot of fun on this bike for the price. A lot of people will tell you just get a really nice hard tail, but I disagree. If I was standing at the top of my favorite trail, with either a hard tail or this bike, probably would go with this bike just to have the extra suspension, have fun with it. I obviously have never tried it out. I'm just doing a review or just basically telling you what I think after searching online for what the cheapest option was. You know, I think on Bike Island you can get you know, this whole setup for a little bit less than you know, 400, which would be nice. And then here's some runner-ups. These giant bikes, they make a Trance 27.5. That's real similar to the Polygon for around a grand. So you can look at Giant and see if there's anything there you like. Fuji was basically a runner-up. They make you know, a $400 hardtail, which is probably a little bit nicer than the $300 hardtail you get from Bikes Direct. I just did a you know, random full suspension search on Google. Basically, it's a bunch of Walmart stuff and cheap Chinese stuff that just is you know similarly priced even to the bikes direct stuff but just not nearly as nice and then once you get above that thousand dollar you know between a thousand and two grand you know it's basically just splitting hairs between what kind of drivetrain upgrades you want suspension upgrades you want and then around two grand canyon starts to become a very very enticing brand with all the different kind of bikes and geometries that you can get even like this big e-bike here, five grand. And the Specialized had some sales too. If you want, you know, something. If you're really into this, and if you really have a lot of like preferences, this is where you start to get like between the three to seven grand level of wanting in-frame storage, top-of-the-line suspension. You know, you can get all the way up to this ten thousand dollars S Works, which maybe one day you want. But starting off, I think either this bike. Let's see the bikes. Or this bike. These are my two kind of runners up or kind of co champions here in this cheapest bike to get into the sport and really enjoy it. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this content. If you got any bikes you want me to give you advice on, just go ahead and put them in the comments below if there's a bike you're thinking about buying, you want my opinion on it, or have any questions. If you have any other bikes that you think beat out these two bikes in terms of value, Go ahead and put those in the comments below as well. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll catch you all next time.